Okay. Hey, I just want to thank everyone for being here this morning. And um, this is the Motoplex Monday morning meeting. And we thought we'd try to do something a little bit different, and that's communicate. Um, you know, the company over the years has had a lot of different um, partnerships as far as non-profit and charitable organizations that they've done. And as you go through the Honda showroom, through the circle of giving, you know, you can read through a lot of those over the last 50 years that we've been a part of. And this is, this is kind of a newer one. This is one of the ones that we haven't done before. And it's one that Motoplex has kind of taken on. And uh, I don't want to give all the information away here, but there's a number of reasons why. And of course, motorcycles might have something to do with it. Um, but we're really excited about it. And it's not often that you have a charitable organization that comes across that's doing something where you go, wow, that's really good. And I want to be a part of that. And it didn't take us long up at Motoplex to, uh, to have partnered up with them and to have listened to their story and to their heart and what it is that they're trying to accomplish. And it just made us go, we're in. And so we wanted to bring that to you. We're not asking anything from you. We just wanted them to come in, share with what they're doing, kind of let you know what we're being a part of. And uh, if you hear anything about it, there's probably posters. There should be some posters in each location by now, kind of talking a little bit about this. And so without further ado, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to turn it over. I want to first introduce everyone to Beth Olson. Beth, round of applause. <laughs> Beth is the uh, development associ associate with Children's Miracle Network and also partnered up with Sanford. Yep. yep. And she's, uh, she's the lead gal behind all this. And I'm just going to turn this over to her and let her fly with this. And uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thanks, Beth. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? <laughs> Good. I'm going to move over here so I'm not blocking this. But I am Bethany Olson. I work with the Sanford Health Foundation. I focus mainly on the children's initiative, so Children's Miracle Network, Cure Kids Cancer, and then some of our camping programs too. So Can't Bring It On, which is the main focus of what we're going to talk about today. All of these pictures are up here from this past year of Can't Bring It On. So that's what we'll talk about. Do you want to flip? So Children's Miracle Network and Cure Kids Cancer all support Sanford Children's Hospital, the castle. If any of you drive past um, 18th and Lake, you see the castle and this is what it is. Inside we have over 70 pediatric specialists and 30 different specialties. And then we see about 60,000 patients each year. So those doors are opening 60,000 times throughout the year to give chemo treatments, to give, have heart surgeries, to do all sorts of stuff. So that's at the castle. <clears throat> Children's Miracle Network is what supports most of the castle. So the equipment, the programs that are inside of it, and even some of the stuff that you don't think of, like meals for the families who are spending a lot of time there, miles for the families who are traveling long distances or all the, all the time. Patients with cancer are coming to the castle three times a week, sometimes for their chemo treatments. So we're helping with those mile, mileage, that mileage, excuse me. And then we're also helping them with their lodging. If they have to travel to, say, Michigan for a heart, um, some heart surgeries or anything like that. We're helping pay for that lodging as long as it's related to their medical expenses too. So we um, focus on the eastern side of the state. That's where our region is. So any child that's in the eastern side of South Dakota, whether they go to a Sanford facility or not, they are all eligible for that direct child and family assistance. Any child who comes into the castle is being helped just with that equipment and the programs inside of it. So really any child in the area is being helped by CMN funds. And what's really cool is as a nonprofit hospital, we are able to say that absolutely no child is ever turned away from our hospital, regardless of the family's ability to pay. So if the, family, if the child comes in and they're injured or they're sick, and the parents, they don't have insurance or they just can't make the payments, we will make sure that they, that child still receives the care they need and we'll take on that cost, so. And then we have Cure Kids Cancer, which is a program under CMN. Um, it's just focused on the cancer side of things. We have the state's only three pediatric oncologists at our facility, which is something absolutely incredible. And we are now just starting to do some pediatric cancer research out at the castle. One of our oncologists is also in research. So we have a lot of really exciting things happening under Cure Kids Cancer. And then the next great thing that Cure Kids Cancer does is it funds Can't Bring It On, which is what we talked about on the first slide, which Can't Bring It On is a camp for kids with cancer. So 
any child seven to up to the summer before their senior year that's battling cancer or has battled cancer is able to go to camp free of charge to the families and just be a kid for the first time in their lives a lot of them because their parents are worried about well they're still going through chemo how can we make sure that they're going to be okay that their doctors are going to know that someone there will know how to take care of them if something happens so we have a pediatric oncologist on staff at Camp Bring It On all the time. We have child life um, specialists there who just help make things fun and they help, they do a little thing called turtle time, which is the one time all week that they talk about their cancer and how it affects them and they get to know other kids with cancer and then they make life t lifelong friends at Camp Bring It On. So we, um, like I said, it's no cost to the families. If we broke it down, there's about 64 kids that go to camp each year if we broke it down, that would be about $1,000 per child. Um, and that cost is no charge to the families because of donors like the Bellator Titans, who Brian is here with me, and they put on a ride for a cure. So like Steve said, motorcycles play a big part in why we are here today. Um, the Ride for a Cure is an annual event that the Bellator Titans put together to support Camp Bring It On. So Brian, if you want to come up, I'll let you kind of take it away. You're the expert on this part of it. Different in that picture. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for having us here. Um, Rally and Ride for a Cure. Well, actually, this is the first year for Rally and Ride for a Cure. It's been Ride for a Cure for the last six years or five years for me. Um, came about with uh, a friend of mine told me a story about his uh, nephew and, and his sister's uh, grandson who had cancer, Ethan. Ethan uh, is actually the young man that got to name Camp Bring It On. Um, he lost his battle to cancer a few years back. Uh, after hearing the story from them, I, I decided, well, I need to get involved in this. And at the time, I was founding a motorcycle club, the Bellator Titans. And I took this opportunity to say, let's make a difference. Let's change what the people view the MC world as. Um, I know a lot of people hear all the rhetoric on the TV about motorcycle clubs and it's a bad element and this and that, but we're not all like that. Uh, the Bellator Titans strictly is charity work. That's all we do. We do scholarship runs, we do a run for a ride for a cure, um, and several other ones, and, but I'm basically here to talk about rally and ride for a cure. <clears throat> Four years ago, uh, Children's Miracle Network sought us out because we kept giving them money and they didn't know who we were. <laughs> so they came and found us. And uh, I said, well, we want to keep growing it. And uh, through time and everything, we've developed learning every year that we do this how to make it better, uh, how to get more people to come to it, um, how to let people know what it's really about and, 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 and have it where people understand that 100% of everything we raise, everything, there's no, we don't take money back uh, to cover our overhead or nothing. That's, that's our donation. Um, we, we pay for our own posters. We pay for our setups. We do all that. That's what we're giving so that everybody can come out and have a good time. Um, in 2013, we raised over 9000 and in 2014, we raised over 10,000, 15, 15,000. Last year, I raised over 17,000. Um, and that was on a one day event. Um, this year, I'm going a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going for a two day deal. We're going to have a full scale rally on May 21st. I'm going to add a car show to it, which I think every one of these beautiful machines you have out here should come to my car show. <laughs> Um, we're going to have a car show, we'll have a bike show, we'll have multiple vendors there. And there will be vendors there ranging from everything for car stuff, seats. Uh, I've got people signed up that are coming out to sell children's clothes. Um, we're open to anybody that wants to come. If, if, it will, if you want to help benefit these children, and, and once you've ever seen these kids, we were uh, invited last year for the first time to Media Day. And we left there with a whole new outlook of where we needed to go with this. And that's why we just said, we're going bigger. Um, 
a couple years ago, I started getting corporate America involved, which I've learned through doing some business, get them involved. Problem with that, corporate America, when you say motorcycle club, usually likes to walk out the door and doesn't want anything to do with you. Um, we had approached Steve a couple different times, and he goes, you know, I get these people in here all the time. I'm like, I, I get it. I get it. Um, so then I brought in my big guns. I walked in one day with Children's Miracle Network, and I think he took me a little more legitly at that point. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm really happy to have Motoplex and Indian on board. Uh, it's really added to the deal. We have several big sponsors now, and it grows every year. We have uh, Sioux Falls Kenworth is involved. We have Motoplex and Indian now involved. We have Dakota Supply Group involved and many, many more. Um, the posters are currently at print, so we'll have those out. So that'll be the poster for the whole run, and I'll, I'll make sure I get them to Steve, and they can be distributed throughout uh, the different uh, stores and stuff here. Um, Vernity, yep, I can, I can do that real quick. Uh, Vernity got, or Motoplex Indian got involved. Uh, they're uh, decided to step up to the plate, I, I would say, and, and, and I'm just ecstatic about the whole thing. They've donated a bike for us to raffle off. We're selling, uh, here's your bike right here. Um, we're selling 500 tickets at $100 a chance. And then we're also putting with it a $2,000 upgrade so the person that does win it can add bags or windshield or seat, uh, helmet, leather, jacket, uh, across the board, whatever they'd like with the $2,000 accessory package. With doing this, um, my club, we're out there all the time. We're pushing these, we're pushing these sales. We're, we're, we're in front of people. We're at Motoplex pretty much every weekend. Uh, they provided us a spot to sit out there so that we can tell our story and why we do what we do. Um, a lot of times, that once we get a chance to get somebody who wants to come up and ask me a question of, well, what is, why are you guys involved? What, what is it about? Once we tell the story and, and we talk about the kids and, and everything like that, I mean, I, I haven't had anybody walk away, but you've got you've to listen to the story. Um, so I was, I was just amazed when uh, Steve Motoplex and Indian got on board with this. I mean, this is the first time we've ever raffled off a bike. Um, this, without a doubt, will put us over the top hugely, almost double what we raised last year. And with the two-day event, um, we'll be having, like I said, the car show, the bike show. We're having a dance also on Saturday night. Uh, my community, Crook, South Dakota, uh, has gotten really big in backing me also. Uh, they've donated the municipal hall for the night. I have a band already booked. Jade Monkey will be there playing. They play a variety of everything from country to 70s, 80s on up. Um, I don't think there's any rap music, but I, I can request it. <laughs> Um, it was hard to figure out how to do a band there, um, so I did the best I could with what I, what I had. And the band actually donated their time after hearing the story. So it's, it's coming together, and more and more of the community can get involved with this, the more and more we can help these children. Um, if you've ever seen these little, these little kids, and some of them are teenagers now, we got to meet them, but they've been going to camp all these years. And they'll sit there and they'll tell you how that camp gave them the opportunity to make friends that understood what they were going through. You know, and that's hard for people to understand what those little kids are going through. We're, you know, if you've never gone through that, you know, and I hope to God none of you have a child that has to go through that. But if I ever have a child that had to go through that or a grandchild or whatever, I want to make sure that somebody's doing something. So with that, unless somebody has questions for me. It will be on, uh, the rally will be on, the 21st will be on Main Street of Crooks. Uh, we were actually, the poker run is on the 22nd, and we are actually leaving from Motoplex uh, at noon. Sign up will be 10 to 12. All vehicles are welcome, all cars, all bikes, doesn't matter. Come out and have a great time. I just want to say one other note on this. You know, <clears throat> we've, it's, 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 a, it's, I wouldn't say it's in its infancy because we've been doing it three or four years now, but we really think this has got the potential to be something really big. Um, you know, when we look at what our competitors do next door uh, with Make-A-Wish, you know, I think this really gives us an opportunity as an organization to be able to, uh, to partner with them. And it's about their heart and their passion. I mean, Brian, 
I don't, you know, if you saw him come into the store on Saturday all geared up with his, with his biker stuff, uh, you know, it's neat to see all these guys show up, and yet you know that they're, they all have jobs. They are doing this not because they're getting paid. They're doing this on a volunteer basis, and they're doing it because their hearts are in the right place. And to me, you know, we have a lot of people coming in with their hands out up at Motoplex, but when these guys came in, and, you know, it did, it did take a little bit with Beth coming in with her crew, and we sat and we listened to it, and I go, you know what? There's something more to this. This is something we need to be a part of. So that's how we got involved with it. And uh, I think you can sense that, that Brian's uh, heart is in the right place. And um, Beth has definitely um, been a big asset. And Without Trent, Jeff, I would be lost. Yeah, <laughs> I want to give Trent, Trent a little bit of attaboy. He's uh, helped put some of this together as well on the VVI side. And, and Sue over here, Salter, correct? Hello. Yep, Hi. is with uh, Sanford. You are... I'm with the Sanford Health Foundation. I'm a major gift officer. So I focus on different initiatives and our annual giving team, which Bethany's a part of, does. And we're so grateful for your support. So you're here as the watchdogs to make sure these motorcycle guys are legit. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Uh, we are so grateful for what they're doing. We have, is ours the next slide? Uh, a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. So then I'll just. No. Nope. Go ahead. All right. Bethany still has yeah. Thank you. So nope. Do you guys have any more questions about rides right here? Or. Motoplex's involvement, yes. And then these are some of our other upcoming events. Tomorrow, if you all like pancakes, swing out to IHOP. You can get a free short stack of pancakes for a donation to CMN, and that all goes back to Sanford Children's. If you like fashion or your wives like fashion, there's an El Couture fashion show at the end of the month, Radiothon, like I said, and that's another opportunity. If you guys want to come out and volunteer and get to know some of the kids and the families and stuff, Radiothon is a great chance to do that. You just come and you answer the phone when someone calls in. It's not making cold calls or anything like that. People are calling into the Radiothon, and you just get to um, take, listen to their story of why they're calling in and um, make a difference that way. And then another event coming up is the Great American Bike Race, which is brand new, and it is an indoor stationary bike race. And there's volunteer opportunities there. You can make a team if you like to bike, all sorts of stuff going on. So... Um, I, before we go into the next slide, which is Sue's focus, I just want to thank all of you guys for letting us be here again. Um, thank you to Bruce and Brian and Jim and all of you for your involvement with different nonprofits across the region and us. So. Okay, well, hello again. I'm just going to real quickly, because our focus today really is to talk about these events, but I wanted to let you know how some of this work with children's actually ties in to some of the major initiatives that Sanford Health has going on. Our biggest one right now and our priority campaign is called the Gift of Time, and this is an initiative to raise $15 million dollars to build a new acute level multi-generational hospice facility right here in Sioux Falls on our main campus. Um, this little darling that you see in the upper right hand corner, that is Ava Holder. And Ava is a little girl who developed neuroblastoma, uh, or brain cancer, when she was 18 months old. And Ava traveled around the country looking for a cure. <clears throat> Her parents brought her everywhere they could think, and when they realized there was nothing more that could be done for Ava, um, they found a pediatric hospice facility that was located in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, that's where Ava spent her last days. She lost her battle um, just before her fifth birthday. But um, Ava is the great niece of Ron and Joanne Moquist. And some of you might know Ron Moquist. He was the CEO at Raven Industries here in Sioux Falls for years. And he came back and said, we have to have something like this in Sioux Falls. And so partnered up with Sanford Health and made the lead gift um, to build this new facility that you see in the lower picture here on the screen. And in thanks for that gift, we asked for permission to actually name the facility Ava's House. Um, the really um, spectacular thing about this is it will become a, one of only four facilities in the country to offer inpatient acute level pediatric hospice care. 
So it's a heavy topic to think about. Um, we like to focus on the health and healing at the Children's Castle, and, and we do heal so many kids. But for those who can't experience that, we need a place for um, the kids and their families to experience peace and comfort um, and dignity in their final days. And so that's why we're raising money. Uh, we'll be built 100% um, with ph philanthropic dollars. Uh, for Ava's house and uh, just wanted you to be aware that the project is in progress to date We've raised about 7.2 million dollars for the building It's about a 10 million dollar build and the other 5 million is for an endowment that will help offset the losses that occur Hospice does not make money for the system. It's not intended to but it's a service we like to provide so just a little bit of our continued uh, emphasis on children and their families and again, we're so grateful for all of your support. Thank you. Do you have any questions about Ava's house? Awesome. Thank you.